Hello everybody, hope all is well. I'm Daniel and this is World's Messiest Workshop. Well, here is an update on the goat cart. This is the first video I'll be posting for after the summer. And the engine lube, lubrication is fine up into the overhead cam. So I think that's where the last video left off was my concerns with that. And you can see the oil flicker modification video I did on that. <clears throat> so here's my belt drive system. I've got a pulley. Got a pulley that I welded onto this cap that goes onto the shaft that came with the bower originally. So I welded that pulley onto there. And it just slides off with the, there's a, a, a bolt that goes there to hold it in. Here is my drive shaft. It is the three quarter shank, a three quarter diameter from a, what we call a swamp cooler or an evaporative cooler. There you can see the little housing that it sits in that was that it sat in in the evaporative cooler and what to do and it it doesn't extend out to the other tire it's just uh, oops, get over here I've still got issues with lighting <clears throat> so this axle is just welded here onto the frame and then you can see the evaporative cooler drive shaft that I'm using for the drive shaft there I'll cut that off cut it to size once I'm done I found this remember everything I I use is scrap, things that I find, things that people throw away. So I found this tire, and there's another one over there, but it's got a different, it's got a different uh, opening size here. It's like an inch and a quarter, I think. So this is going to be the drive tire. The other tire is still going to be off of the, um, what are they called? Those scooters, those Zespas, or... Vespa. I've found a Vespa scooter in the alley and I took the tires off it and some other things. Um, so that'll be the tire on that side. The two front tires for now are bicycle tires for a, it was a tricycle, small tricycle. They're just bike tires. Um, the other, the ones off the Vespa obviously are street, street worthy. And rated for the weight, hard rubber, tubeless, uh, tube tires. This will be the brake here. That is the brake. Um, this was going to be the drive tire until I found this setup, which was much better, much easier. So I welded some brackets, some bracing here to hold this stationary pulley that comes off so I can access the belt and change it. I could always pull the tire off too. Um, but this is easier. And don't pay attention to my fancy welding. So that comes off of there and I... Uh, this came off of uh, like a hacksaw hacksaw jig it was broken but I took that piece off with the screw use it for this and I welded it like this be to get this position here and sturdy I did a tack weld here and here at the pivot so I'm going to cut that weld out and this tack weld out 
and this arm pivots up and down and it's gonna sit uh, yeah sit up here on top I'm gonna I have to cut it down to size so the pulley rests here and it'll be a spring I have a tension spring back here to, to hold this down and uh, that's my chain my belt tensioner and then there'll be a hand clutch with a bicycle cable uh, I'm sorry a foot it's on the foot there's my foot clutch press on that lever activated wham a bazamba it will release the tension from the belt and the motor will still run it's a lawnmower engine so it's going to run it at fairly one speed and uh, so that that's going to that's how that's going to work and that's about it so I uh, probably the next video will be no, let me take a tour of the whole whole cart while I'm here and the weather's nice finally even though it's three o'clock in the morning all right here's my clutch pedal let's see get some light here I gotta grind all my welds I just I built my own welder it's right there I made it out of microwave oven transformers and uh, so that's my welder it runs at one power one speed uh, and it is what it is so anyway Here's my clutch pedal. And that'll, that's where I'll attach the, the bicycle cable will come through here, down to the lever here. When you push on it, it'll actually pull the cable and release tension on the clutch, or uh, the belt there. So you can apply the brake, which is here, handbrake, and the handbrake came off of that Vespa scooter. I took the, the braking system off that and incorporated it onto this lever back here, which is held in place by a spring. And here's the cover for my pitchfork. Here's the rope that ties the tarp down. <laughs> um, so my steering system. I don't know what it's called, but rack and pinion, I guess. I don't know. Uh, got that welded onto, I know it's hard to see, onto the this C that, that I made. I forget what these things are called here. Um, got some turning action there. Turn the steering wheel. So I bent these bars at my buddy's house. He lent me his tube bender, pipe bender. That's just a welded on to a, a washer, which is welded onto this pipe. It turns, sits it sitting in that rest. Here. Not very, it's pretty smooth, but it's no fine tune tuning thing there. Um, I forget why I did that. Oh, let's see. Why did I do that? I don't remember, but anyway. So, this is the stop here on this side that I need to redo because oh actually that, that fell off that's right it goes on top of there or underneath and I think it's yeah it used to sit right here on top 
just goes down so when you turn the steering wheel it hits down here and stops so the wheels don't you know you don't oversteer. Oh. Enough on that I guess. And over here to the, the gas pedal. It's all rusted to crap now but Oh, and it's hitting the hitting the saw horse there, but it's uh, spring loaded too, uh, shaped like an axe axe head. Here's my setup. Got a couple of return springs on here. That one pulls it back here. That one is this one is to give it a little more tension when you push on it because it was kind of loose. And the cable will run through this way, through that tab over here, through this tab on the far side, and then back underneath the cart up to the carburetor. And uh, the modification, this used to, this little square here, this rectangle here in the front that you can see down through, maybe. Um, that used to be where the engine sat. And I realized that, hold on. I realized I didn't have enough belt on the pulley and I just kind of figured that you need at least the belt needs to have contact with at least half the pulley to make it grab a hold and turn everything it could be wrong could be less could be more but at least half right so I guess it can't be less I'm <laughs> saying um, so what I had to do was move the engine back and that's twice I've hit the power button on my phone so I had to move the engine back uh, the front the, the pulley now the, the, this drive shaft used to line up with the shaft here on the, for the tire straight up and down and it wouldn't turn so I moved it back I don't know it looks like eight inch six eight inches and rebuilt a new stand back here so there's another mount like this on the other side um, so you can unscrew that, those two, and then it's on a hinge back here, so I can change the oil. I can just pull that pin out of the hinge and the whole engine will come right off for service, whatever. Uh, yep, so there's the plates there. All this is angle iron that I got from people throwing their bed frames away so this is all that's what all that is angle iron from beds it's the majority of what I used to build the, the goat cart and I put it on this frame that I found um, it's lightweight square tubing and found that it used to it had shelving on it it was a, a shelving unit for a store so all right thanks for watching and uh if you feel like it like share subscribe if you don't whatever